On my side, I always had Emerson Munangagwa. I brought him in to government. But I never thought he whom I had nurtured and brought into government and whose life I had worked so hard in prison to save as he was threatened with hanging that one day he would be the man who would turn against me but there it was, there it is, it happened on the 15th of November. He was assisted by the army. I said it was a coup d'etat. Some people have refused to call it a coup d'etat. What happened? He could never have assumed the presidency of the country without the army. It's the army which assisted him. The army made it made sure that the other organs of state were neutralized completely neutralized. They neutralized the Central Intelligence Organization, many of whose members were bashed with their heads cracked. And this is not a, an exaggeration. Some of them are missing to this day. Their guns were taken away from them. The police had their armory completely emptied. Their guns had gone, disappeared. Who had taken them? The army. And then, in our environment, rolled what we never knew we had, some tanks. Oh, did we have these tanks? I was told they are ancient ones. 1914 to 1918 tanks. T-63 or 60 something. There they were rolling, armored cars, running and people not allowed to move from one place to another unless they got the permission of the army. Searches were taking place left, right and centre. Persons being arrested It was truly a military takeover. There was no movement permissible unless that mo movement was checked and allowed by the army. That's what it was. I don't know what you would want to call it, but our people had not experienced such an environment before. We had prided ourselves on being very democratic. Every day,
those young men and women we have are being called one by one to be asked very silly questions. Where is Jonathan? Professor Jonathan Moyo. Where is Kasukuere? Where is Zuavo? They don't know. They are mere cooks, they are mere messengers, gardeners. You don't expect them to know. Why worry them? Ask me. I don't even know where they are. Yes, once upon a time, we assisted them to get to safety. Guns, volleys of bullets were being fired at their houses, on their houses. And a cry came, please, please, and it was my wife. Mama, save us, please save us. I wasn't there. She organized some of her security and say, go, go and save them. What happens to you, I don't know. You may die on the way, but go. And she would put together the cars and the persons that she, she had. I wasn't here. And so they were brought to here, to our house. Jonathan, Professor Jonathan Moro, Kasukwere and their families. The one had about four children, wife and four children, the other wife and three children. And we kept them here and said to them, we will keep your families. We said that to the men, but you men find your way out. Go where you can, but we will keep your wife and the children here and save them. And so they left, we don't know how and we don't know where they went. And we kept their families here until the situation was slightly better. Then they asked to get back to their homes. Today, Emerson is no longer on my side. I'm no longer the president. He is. I called him president the other day and he said, oh, no, no, don't, please call me president. Call me Emerson. I said, I can't call you Emerson anymore. Okay, I'll call you E.D. And you're coming here, we hope. We'll get the views I have published. I don't hate Emerson. I brought him into government. I would want to work with him. But he must be proper. He is improper where he is. Illegal. And if it is to correct that illegality, that he would want me to discuss with him and we we must 
undo this disgrace which we have imposed on ourselves. We don't deserve it. We don't deserve it. Please, we don't deserve it. Zimbabwe doesn't deserve it. We want to be a constitutional country. Yes, we may have our shortcomings here and there, but overall, we must obey the law, become constitutional. People must be chosen it to be in government in the proper way. I will discuss, I'm willing to discuss, I'm willing to assist in that process, but I must be invited, properly invited for that discussion. Currently, I am isolated and if I, I'm glad I have your company. <laughs>